Hello, everybody, and welcome to the drive through I'm your host, Tony T, as we broadcast live here on Pig Dog's YouTube channel and throughout social media. We'll take you out well before the top of the hour, give you enough time to get those bets in for the primetime games, and that's what we do here on the drive through Monday through Friday at 6 p.m. Eastern Time as we deliver live free sports picks for the games beginning at 7 p.m. Eastern Time and later. And to deliver those winners, our professional handicappers over at Pig Dogs and Sports Chat Place. Let's take a peek at who'll be on the show for today. We got Mitch joining us today. From Las Vegas, Nevada, Joe D'Amico, Shane Mickle, Joe Duffy in the center square, Al Nino's with us, Big Al McMorty, full sign with Ann Shore. All right, this is how they're going to line up for today. Duffy, D'Amico, McMorty, Shore, Mickle, Nino's, Mitch, and then I will close this one out. All right, Chris, with the day off today, so let's go ahead and get the show started. We're going to go over here and welcome up Joe Duffy to the show. You'll find him over at Pig Dogs Premium as we get the show started here. Let me get that two shot ready. Joe, what's happening? Oh, everything's going great, and we're going to have a big portfolio for tonight. I wish I could look as cool as Annie, but it's impossible, literally. Yeah, absolutely. All right, uh, tonight, 8 Eastern time, we've got the Rangers to host the Angels. Angels road favorites, $1.75, total of eight. Yeah, we have one of the um, stronger angles in the history of gambling that basically I use the odds makers knowledge against them. I compare today's odds uh, relative to some recent odds and listen to the message that they're sending us. And it comes up with a, a system that is 752 and uh, that it's plus 752.22 units. Also, another angle that has to do with same series adjustments that's also very good that is up 791.52 units. And when you do uh, have the odds makers tell you that a team has their best chance to win a game in recent play, another angle that comes out that's plus 378.38 units. Now, here's something interesting. Texas has a better home record than the Angels do a road mark, yet the Angels are massive road favorites. So you, maybe your first reaction will be, holy smokes, how do I not go with the home dog? I mean, they're a better home team than the team that's laying the big number is on the road. However, yet again, We've got a system that says when a team is a massive road favorite, despite having a worse road record than a home team does a home record, you actually want to go with the road team, and it's even better when they are big road favorites. Of course, this is a humongous pitching mismatch, to say the least. Otani has been tremendous. Last three starts, 1.35 ERA, a whip of just .70. Allard. I mean, he couldn't be worse. 13.14 ERA, 2.03 whip over his last three. Texas has dropped seven straight with him, all of them by at least two runs. And in fact, he got the loss personally. So there's seven straight personal losses, all by two runs or more. Uh, Fox Sheets is another one of the better simulators. They have the estimated line at minus 238, which does give us good value here. But we're not laying juice when we lay the run and a half. Tex, or I should say the LA Angels, and Otani minus the one and a half W marks, the center square. All right, Duffy here with the Angels run line, minus one and a half runs, minus 110. You know, looking at this Texas Rangers team, when they face right-handers this season, 20 and 47, Joe, negative 22-unit return. Yeah, like I've said, I found out over the years, the lefty-righty angles don't necessarily hold up as well as some of the other stuff. So admittedly, I don't use the lefty-righty splits all that much. But still, I'd rather have it in my favor than be uh, going against me, that's for sure. All right, uh, Joe Duffy here on the Angels' run line. Minus one half runs, minus 110 with Otani on the hill. This one with the start time of 8 Eastern time. Watch it over on MLB Extra in each channel. All right, Joe, let's take a look over at Pig Dogs. 11 games in prime time for Major League Baseball. What do you have going on over at the site? Yeah, three wise guy plays, which are my highest rated play, and to have three in one night is actually a lot for me. But one of the single strongest angles in uh, sports does apply three times tonight, and it's also, well, it applies actually more than three times, but it is corroborated by uh, some of my computer simulation software, and it does result in three very strong plays tonight on the nighttime portfolio. And NFL starts tomorrow, and of course, really in full swing in eight days, so I'm excited about that as well. So lock in long term. Absolutely long term over at Pig Dogs. Maybe we want to get on board tonight. Uh, Joe has three wise guy night winners for you from Major League Baseball. Three picks on the site when you visit his profile page over at Pig Dogs. Maybe get on board with those and, of course, take those winnings and go long term as you'll find 
a three-day and a monthly uh, pass right now from Joe Duffy over at Pick.com. Premium. You know that monthly pass, great value there. You get every play from Major League Baseball from Joe. Also factor in the preseason from NFL, college football, uh, starting here week zero, uh, and uh, delve into some of the week one action as well. So that 30-day pass, a great value over there at Pick Dogs Premium. Joe, as always, uh, uh, great having you on the show. Have yourself a great evening, and we'll talk with you in, in a couple days. We shall. Another great show, gentlemen and lady, for sure. All right. Thank you very much. Joe Duffy here on the drive through So we'll continue our coverage. Of course, Chris with the day off today. So let's go right now over to Las Vegas, Nevada, and welcome uh, Joe D'Amico. You'll find him over at Pig Dog Film, who's been very good to us here on the drive through show, producing winners for us. Uh, Joe, what's happening? Uh, very excited, Tony. You know, we're almost at the postseason in MLB, and we are just a few out, a few hours away, a handful of hours away from the start of NFL football. It's just a great time to be in sports betting, great time to be here in Vegas. And I'm on my favorite show with my favorite cappers in the world, Mitch, Al, Andy, Banani. We're going to be together next week. And I just, I'm very excited about uh, just kicking off the second half of baseball and going into NFL preseason right here at Pick Dogs. Absolutely. Preseason on, on the eve of it. So we got a game tomorrow night, but we'll look at the games for tonight here at uh, 7 Eastern time. It's the Yankees to host the Orioles. Uh, Yankees here laying 270, a total of a nine and a half. Well, uh, sports fans, as Tony mentioned, my free play today takes place in the Bronx. The Yankees are hosting the Orioles. Guys, it's no secret the Yankees just recently made some big acquisitions to try to bolster their lineup. Every year at this time, they try to do whatever they can to make a push towards the postseason. But they underachieved in the first half of the season, to say the least. And they're really going to make a push at this postseason. But today's matchup, to me, sports fans, all about two words. Those two words, James Taylor. Taylor was named July's American League Pitcher of the Month. He went 4-0 with a 1.16 ERA in five July starts. Let's go back a little bit further. We have seen some real solid consistency from the right-hander over his last eight turns. 6-0 with a 2.28 mark. Matt Harvey on the mound for the other side. Guys, he has looked sharp lately. However, the Orioles' bats are going to get stifled by the tail on here. While the New York lineup shows Harvey why his butt should have never left the National League. Let's be honest. He hasn't done all that well or looked all that great since he's switched leagues. And, you know, he's had a couple of good turns, his last few turns. But a couple of good turns does not a season make. And I will tell you this. Laying the run and a half with New York, I'm going to do it, and I'm going to take my bookmaker's money. If you join me, you will too. All right, says uh, take Yankees run line, minus one half runs, minus 135 against the Baltimore Orioles. All right, Joe, looking at this matchup, you're right. Tyon has shown improvement. I'm uh, just going to give you some information here. Wind blowing in tonight, so uh, if you're looking at uh, scoring, you, you may, we may be a lower scoring game here with the wind blowing in tonight. And, of course, uh, Rizzo, the left-hander acquired from the Cubs. What do you thought about th that acquisition there, Joe? Well, Tony, I'll tell you this. As a Yankee fan and as an Italian, we pick up two <laughs> Italians, Rizzo and Gallo. They're great to begin with because they're Italian. Now they're wearing pinstripes. Obviously, they're both big assets. Obviously, the Cubs look like they had a garage sale. Jeez Louise, they got rid of their mascot, two announcers, and the guy that parks cars in the parking lot. They got nothing left. They gave up on the season. Uh, you know, they can't contend with the other Chicago team in the American League. Uh, but I am very happy to have Gallo and Rizzo. Very good acquisitions, uh, and we're, there's some talk that they're going to be sticking around more than just a short term. So I'm happy for the Yankees as a Yankee fan, but I do like the short term here with this. They're looking to put a Band-Aid on, on what was a little bit of a, a bullet wound here because the Yankees did underachieve, as we said. But as you know, the Yankees usually put a little bit of money behind the second half of the season. They look to make a push, at least to make a run to playoffs. If they can't uh, upend, because I don't think Boston will get there. I think Boston is a little fatigued right now. Tampa Bay is still the team to beat, I feel, in this division. If the Yankees can hang on and take them, maybe – Maybe great. If not, maybe they get a wild card. But it's going to be a great run in the American League. I really do think the, the American League will have the uh, World Series champion as the three or four top teams in the NL. I don't think they could beat the top three or four teams in the AL this year. Yeah, it looks that way. Of course, uh, my issue with the Red Sox, they just their pitching staff just gives up way too many runs. All right, Joe Meikle here on the Yankees run line, minus one half runs. Minus 135 against the Orioles. Uh, this one has a start time of 7 Eastern time over on MLB Extra News Channel. All right, Joe, let's take a look over at Pig Dogs Premium. 11 games in prime time for Major League Baseball. What do you have going on over at the site? 
So we have one big MLB winner on the pick dog board tonight. My coveted MLB diamond plate, just $25. And guys, we mentioned it a moment ago. You've waited six long months for a football to come back around. Sports fans, grab that hat. Grab that helmet, grab those cleats, grab a jock strap if you need to, because, folks, football starts tomorrow. As an eight-time NFL preseason top ten capper, this, to me, there's some real money to be made in preseason football. There's gold in them there. Hill. Tony and I mentioned this on the Monday show. I have a huge discount right here on pick Dogs for the preseason. I've also posted regular season, college football season, and huge, huge, huge combo discount that combines both the college and the pro football seasons. Only right here at Pick Dogs. My biggest discounts are on my favorite website, Pick Dogs. Get them here and show yourself an enjoyable, but more importantly, a successful and profitable season. Come join me and some of the other cappers here for football. Absolutely right, guys. Uh, get on board here with Jordan Miko over at Pick Dogs. Bring me has his MLB Diamond play, his best play for Major League Baseball tonight. Get on board with it. Of course, take those winnings. Go long-term because Joe also has those long-term passes, so 3, 7, and 30 all sports pass. But if you're looking... For football, well, Joe has his NFL preseason discounted pass right now for you up, up on the screen, or up on his site. If you want to go with his full season passes, they're available right now from college football as well as NFL. If you want to combine them both, they're up there as well. So visit Joe D'Amico's profile page over at Pick Dog Cream and get on board with one of those long-term passes. All right, Joe, as always, uh, great having you show. Continue that success here for us here on The Drive because I know you produce winners and have yourself a great evening. Tony, thank you. Thanks for having me, everybody, and everybody out there. Good luck and have a winning day. All right, Joe D'Amico here on the drive through I will continue on here with our show. Uh, reminder, guys, uh, be sure to subscribe to our channel, Free Picks, every single day. Of course, it all gets started with that morning show with Mitch, Rod Zawacki, Brian Bittler. That's at 10 a.m. Eastern time. And don't forget about those YouTube membership VIP shows. Follow that link below and get signed up. And, of course, we're here with the drive through Monday through Friday at 6 p.m. Eastern time. So be sure to check us out there. And of course, uh, we're always asking our audience to help us out, to build up our audience with those likes, those thumbs up. It really helps us out, helps us build up our audience, keep those likes, thumbs up coming in. All right, let's continue on here on the drive through More baseball coverage for you today as we're going to welcome Big Al McMorty, number one for 2021 over at Pig Dogs uh, Premium. Of course, you'll find his plays every day up there. So let's go ahead and welcome uh, uh, Big Al to the show. Al, how are you doing this, this afternoon? Doing well, Tony. How are you out there in Southern California? Oh, it's hot as well. It's hot out here. I'm a little more <laughs> inland than you. I wish I was closer to the ocean, to be honest with you. But all right, here we well, go. hot is hot. It doesn't matter where you are. <laughs> That's right. All right, here we go. Eight Eastern time. Uh, we got the White Sox to host the Royals in this uh, AL Central battle. White Sox laying 270. Total sits eight and a half. Yeah, you know the White Sox acquired from the crosstown rival Cubs two relievers uh, last week. They've got the setup man Ryan Tepera. They acquired the closer Craig Kimbrell. And they already had a decent relief core. They were seventh in the American League with a 4.07 uh, ERA for their relievers. So that's going to bolster that relief core and make them even better. As far as the starters go, Lucas Giolito uh, is their uh, best starter, you know, historically over the last couple of years. He had a mediocre first half. He was 7-6. and six. His ERA was 4.15, but since the break, he's really been on fire. He's made three starts. He has a 1-1 one one record, but his ERA, 1.29 with a 0 0.90 whip over 21 innings. So he's really caught fire, and I'd look for him to lead the White Sox in the second half. He'll be matched up today against Carlos Hernandez and the Kansas City Royals. The Chicago White Sox over the last two years have dominated left-handed starters. They're 35 and 11 in the 46 games uh, started by an opponent uh, where the starter was a lefty. So that bodes well for Chicago tonight. They're also 17 and seven the last 24 meetings with the Kansas City Royals. And I really like Chicago here, but we're not gonna lay the 275. We're gonna lay the one and a half runs. That'll lower the odds to minus $1.25. To, we're going to take the White Sox minus the one and a half runs at minus $1.25 tonight. Tony. All right. Big Al here on the White Sox run line. Minus one and a half runs. Right. Minus 130 against the KC Royals. No, I just want to ask you a question here. They, they just met previously, and it was a, it was Royals winning three of four. So in a situation like this, do you look like some sort of revenge angle here for the White Sox? <laughs> Well, let me give you a more extreme example. Two nights ago, Tampa Bay played Seattle. Earlier this year, the Seattle Mariners had swept Tampa Bay four games to none. So you had in that first game the money for whatever reason. I don't know why it happened. The line opened at 160 for Tampa Bay, came down to 148, and then in within an hour, it went all the way up to minus 205. And 
you know, Seattle won anyway for their fifth straight time. And then they won for the sixth straight time in a row last night against Tampa Bay. Now, I didn't release it, but I actually, you know, kind of leaned toward Tampa Bay to snap that streak today. I, I don't, for baseball, I'm not much of a revenge fan. For me, I use revenge much more for college basketball when they play twice a year in the conferences. I apologize for my basset hound. He's a little bit vocal. Maybe he disagrees with me. But, you know, I, I, I use revenge more for basketball and football than I do for baseball. When you play 162 games over the course of a baseball season, I don't think revenge means that much. All right, uh, Big out here on the White Sox run line. Minus one half runs, minus 130 against the KC Royals. And this one has a start time, 8 Eastern time over on MLB x Channel. All right, Alex, let's know what you have going on with Pick Dogs Premium. 11 games in the prime time. Your number one documented for 2021, over 4,000 units of profit. What's happening on, what's happening on Pick Dogs Premium? Well, I've got two baseball plays tonight, my Mountain Mismatch Massacre. I also have my Elite Info play. And, of course, we had our Christmas in July special where you can get all of our plays for the football season or all sports for uh, 12 months. And we had tremendous response, so thanks a lot to all who joined. But those packages are still, even though it's not Christmas in July anymore, you can still join for the football season. We've won 22 of 29 football seasons. We've won nine NFL years in a row, so don't miss out on our long-term packages at Pit Dogs Premium. You can also team me up with other handicappers in the two-for-one capper special. If you're just interested in baseball, we've got two plays tonight. Having a nice run. We're 169 and 129, our last 298 overall. So this are two selections on this Wednesday. All right, guys, get on board here with Big Al over at Pick Dogs Premium. He's got two plays up there on the board right now for Major League Baseball. And, of course, take those winnings, go long-term, because you can get Al's up. 3, 7, and 30 all sports pass. He has his NFL season pass up right now. If you want to combine them for NFL and college football, that's up as well. The capper, who's number one documented right now over at Pick Dogs Prime, over 4,000 units of profit. Visit his profile page. They're, all the plays are uh, documented. You can check them out there. It all adds up to 4,062 units, number one for the, for the year here at Pick Dogs Prime. All right, now, as always, have yourself a great evening, and we'll talk with you. Uh, we'll talk with you next week. Thanks, Tony. Oh, tomorrow. That's right. We'll talk with you tomorrow. We get, let me get my, let me, now, I, now I'm turning into Ruffalo here. We're hitting cameras around. All right, Big Al, have yourself a great evening. All right, let's continue on here on the drive through as uh, we'll go ahead and get started. Uh, here with, uh, we're going to go over to Jersey Shore and welcome Ann Shore uh, to the drive through So let's go ahead and bring her in right now. You'll find her over at Pick Dogs Premium. Let's see if we can get her on the show. We're looking at this uh, game here between the Cubs and the Rockies with Anna. She's poolside uh, today for us. Anna, how's it going? Hi, good. Doing well. How are you? I'm doing great. Doing great. All right, here we go. 840 Eastern time. Of course, the Rockies to host the Cubbies. The Rockies laying $1.70, total of 11. Yeah, so like the Rockies aren't great when they're away, but when they're at home, they're, you know, they're sixth best in, in baseball right now. So um, just with Chicago Cubs, it's one, it's a lot of drama. We'll talk about that in a second, but they're just like a pathetic 10 to a 10 and 29 um, as road underdogs. So um, that alone, I just was, you know, they just, it's been a bad season for them. Um, they're 21st uh, right now for their batting, averaging 4.2 runs per game. Uh, they have a, um, t uh, their batting average is 217. So it's, and just the last um, really like week and a half or so, it's been bittersweet with this team. So like they've just struggled for a few weeks with these trade with these trade day, uh, you know, with these trade day day deadlines. Sorry, it's been a long day. It's with these tra with these trade deadlines, and just just not able to sign deals with like good, you know, star players, Chris Bryant, Rizzo, and so. But then they were able to like switch their losing record, you know, to, you know, kind of overcome that losing record a little bit. But it's just been bad energy. You saw it last night, and like this Chicago's Cubs, this. This Cubs team, it's just like when I seen them from spring training till now, it's like completely different. Um, Rockies aren't great, but they're, you know, like I said, they're solid at home. Um, and so just, I just, I like this tonight. I think it's definitely worth the 172. All right. Uh, we got to Ann here. We'll, we'll take uh, the uh, Colorado Rockies here, minus 170 against the Cubs. Cubs have been dreadful on the road. Rockies, a good home team. Look at the starting pitching here. Pitcher here for the for the uh, Rockies. Gray has been pretty good at home. ERA of just 3.14, whip of just 1.04. He started 10 games this season. 
Yeah, and again, like if you look at it, like the you know, just even with playing in that area there alone, and where the Cubs play, I just think even the weather will be a factor into this as well. Um, but I just, you know, I just, I just over the Cubs, they they are really like I said, you know, I saw them out in Arizona, and it's just a completely different team now. It's really sad, you know. I hope, you know, I hope things turn around for it. But I just think this is kind of it's again, it's the second half of MLB, so. Uh, you know, usually you start seeing a lot of craziness happen. <laughs> yeah, it says uh, wind nine miles per hour. It doesn't say outer wind, though. It just says wind nine miles per hour. Uh, but hot weather there in Colorado, 85 degrees. So maybe we'll see some balls fly out of the ballpark tonight uh, here in, in, in with this Colorado yeah, game. See. And Rockies minus 170 against the Cubs. Your start time here is 840 on MLB Extra Innings Channel. All right, and let's take a look over Pick Dogs. We're showing profit here for 2021. 11 games in primetime Major League Baseball. What do you have going on over at the site? Back, we're back, and we're in August now, so it's going to be a really nice winning month. So get on my long term. My second half of MLB is going to be nice. So um, my package is up there. Uh, it's, you know, it's a really good price right now. I still have for tonight. We've been. Um, I'm going on day three now. We're going to get today's. We're going to be have day three of winning day. Um, MLB. We've been crushing it. So hop on. I have one more pickup for eight o'clock tonight. Don't miss out. Don't miss out with Ann Shore over at Pick Dogs. When you see the numbers here, 161 units for 2021. That's all documented. Ann has a winner for you on Wednesday, coming off two winning days, ready for today. She's crushed. She's going to crush it, crush it here with this play tonight. Get on board with that. Of course, take those winners and, and the, uh, those winnings and go long term because Ann has a three, seven, and third day all sports pass. We can get on board with Ann Shore over at Pick Dogs uh, Premium. Add a second capper with a two for one capper promotion. Even greater value with Ann Shore. All right, Ann, as always, uh, great having you show. Enjoy your day poolside. Of course, I know you're heading to Vegas next week. Yeah. <laughs> yes, I'm going to be in Vegas. I can't wait. I'm so excited. I'm leaving. I'll be out there for the uh, rest of the tournament. So, uh, yeah, I'll be meeting up with Joe. It'll be fun. All right. And we'll see you guys on the drive through too, on next Friday. And we'll see you definitely next Friday. If hopefully, get yeah. the Wednesday as well. All right, Ann, have yourself a great evening. Oh, yeah, enjoy, the, enjoy the pool, and we'll talk with you next week. Thank you. Take care, everybody. Have a winning night. Bye. Bye-bye. Hey, and Shore here on The Drive Through. Let's continue on with our coverage. Guys, a reminder, keep those likes, those thumbs up coming up. We greatly appreciate it. Helps us build up our audience. If you missed any of the picks, we're going to do a complete recap at the end of the show. So if you missed any, stay tuned. Let's continue on here with the show. Now time to welcome Shane Mickle to the show. Shane finished number one for the NBA this year. Uh, he was number two two seasons ago, coming off a very good NBA season. Uh, Shane, what's happening? How's it going tonight, Tony? It's going great. It's going great. All right, here we go. You're going to pick the game on ESPN tonight. Cardinals host the Braves. Braves laying a dollar seven, total of nine. Yeah, being a Twins fan, um, you know, I, I knew a lot of players can get traded before the trade deadline, but I was shocked that anyone gave anything for J. Happ. Um, you know, the Cardinals' excuse was they needed innings, uh, but you know, there's got to be someone in their minor league system that could give them better innings than than Happ. Happ's been awful this season. I don't think it. I don't think it changes in this game. His last start, he gave up nine runs, and then for the um, for the Braves, it's Drew Smiley, who is is decent, but he doesn't really go deep in games. He hasn't he hasn't gone deep in games as of late. Uh, the Braves bullpen is okay, but it's not great. So I think uh, they're gonna give up some runs there too. Um, you know, this is a game where the you know the Braves could cover this number by themselves. I like this. I like this game to go well over the total. All right, uh, Shane's going over the total of nine here, and that's really what I was going to get to here because uh, Cardinals not really known for uh, for their offense this year. It's been a struggle for them at the plate. You're going to need a lot of help from the Cardinals' bats here in this one. Yeah, I mean, has it, but I think I don't think they're going to need that. You know, Cardinals two, three runs. You know, I think it's all it's going to need the last. It's kind of surprising because when half was with the Twins, you know, the number was usually nine and a half, ten, ten and a half. So I'm kind of surprised it's down here at nine. You know, it almost seems a little too obvious, but with Hap, you know, he's been over machine this season, and I'm, I'm not changing it this game. All right, uh, Shane here, Braves, Cardinals, over nine. This is your game on ESPN at 8.15 Eastern time. All right, Shane, let's take a look over at Pick Dogs. Premium. 11 games in the prime time. You're doing pretty well here past seven days, plus 280 units of profit. What do you have going on over at the site? Yeah, I've started to pick up the winning again uh, after a little cold streak. Uh, I've got it turned around. I'm um, already one win in my back pocket for today, and we got three more games tonight in the three-pack. Uh, one of those games is a 10-star top play, my top play of the week. Uh, you get that play by itself for 
or you can get all three of those plays for twenty nine ninety five. Um, all those are over at Pick Dobbs or hop on something long term, so we can so we can win long term together. That's right, guys. Get on board here with Shane Nickel over at Pick Dobbs. Remember that day game has been graded now, so that number now past seven days for Shane is plus three hundred eighty five units of profit past seven days. It's all documents. So if you go over to the site, you can check all all the results there. All the plays are transparent for you to check out. And of course, uh, Shane right now has his winning Wednesday three pack, including his ten star top play of the day. Right now over at Pick Dog Stream. So get on board with uh, Shane's uh, th- three-pack for tonight. And of course, take those winnings go long-term because Shane has his three, seven, and 30 all sports pass. We get every play from, that Shane releases over at Pick Dogs Premium. That 30-day pass is pretty good because that'll get you pretty much into the first week of college football, all of NFL preseason, and MLB. If you add a second capper to that promotion, even greater value with that two-front capper promotion. Shane, is always uh, great having your show. Continue that success, and we'll be talking with you uh, talk with you tomorrow. Sounds good. One more point before I head off. Uh, follow me on Twitter, guys. Uh, my first and last name, Shane Mickle. I've been giving out two, two days in a row reverse run line winners, so uh, more free plays over there, too, when I'm not in the drive-thru. All right. Check them out over at Twitter. All right, Shane, have yourself a great evening. Let's continue on here on the drive-thru. Now we're going to uh, continue baseball talk, and we're going to welcome El Ninos to the show. Uh, you can find Al over at Pig Dogs uh, Premium. Uh, let's go ahead and wire Al in right now. Al, what's happening? It's going pretty good. How are you? Doing good. All right. You're going on late night tonight, 940 Eastern time with the Diamondbacks to host the Giants. Giants big favorites are on the road of $1.85, total of nine. Yeah, slightly uh, bigger favorites than they were last night. Um, uh, Kevin, of course, they got a slightly better pitching matchup tonight, too, with uh, Kevin Gausman getting the start uh, against Zach Gallen. Uh, they'll be looking to get even after losing 3-1 to one last night and uh, should be able to do just that with that uh, better pitching matchup I just mentioned. Uh, Gausman's having the best season of his career while Gallen's uh, been struggling. It hasn't been all bad for Gallen, but uh, Gausman has been the, the more consistent of the two starters. Gallen failed, also failed to complete uh, three innings in both his starts against San Francisco. Giving up uh, four runs in 2.2 innings in the first one and three runs in just two innings in the second start. Um, expect Gausman here to have a, another solid start against one of the worst offenses in the league. And should expect the Giants offense to wake up after a quiet night last night. We're going with the run line here for the free play, but uh, I personally bet them on the money line as well. Uh, just to cover that, hate losing by the hook, so... That's just me. If you don't want to lay any juice, uh, nothing wrong with going just run line here. They will get a uh, full nine innings to bat, so being the away team. So don't blame me. If you don't want to lay juice, just take the run line. All right, yeah, Nito's here. We'll take the Giants on the run line, minus one half runs, uh, minus 115 against the Arizona Diamondbacks. Uh, you know, Al, it's hard, hard to argue that play, but only uh, situation here, we're looking here at Gausman's uh, recent form here. Any concern here, as we saw, you know, he hasn't gone deep in his past two games, all results in losses to the Astros and Pirates. Four and a third against Pittsburgh, allowed six earned runs, four walks, and uh, against Houston, four and a third innings, allowing three earned runs. Yeah, well, Houston's also a much better offense than, uh, than Arizona is. Uh can't really find much of an excuse for that Pittsburgh game, but uh, I guess he can't be perfect every night. But yeah, if you uh, just scratch those two stars, I think it's a great bounce back spot, as I said, against one of the worst offenses in the league, who hasn't been producing many runs anyway lately. So whether they win or lose, it's uh, they've been uh, scoring just a few runs. Yeah, Arizona definitely has issues also in their bullpen. Look at Gallman has faced Arizona twice this season. Uh, Giants winning both games handily, 10-3, 8-0. Gallsman allowing two earned runs total in 13 innings of work. And uh, Gallon has faced the Giants twice this season, and it's been loss loss and uh, not very deep in the games. Matter of fact, he added up four and, four and two thirds innings, seven earned runs allowed. Al on the Giants run line, minus one half runs, minus 115 against the Diamondbacks. And we got a start time in this one of 9 40 Eastern Time, MLB X Trainings Channel. All right, now let's take a look over at Pick Dogs Supreme for tonight. 11 games in Major League Baseball in the prime time hour. What do you have going on over the site? Well, uh, started the day off uh, nicely with the Brewers, so no more three-pack tonight. But I do have uh, my um, my best uh, late MLB play of the night. So if you want to check that out or if you get a long-term pass or the two-for-ones, you'll get both my plays for tonight. That's right, guys. Uh, get on board here with Al Nino's over at Pake Dogs. Pim, he's got his, uh, clutch, uh, his clutch MLB pick for tonight. Uh, so get on board with that in the primetime hour. 
and you take those winnings to go long term with Dell. Uh, he does have his NFL season pass right now available. Get every NFL pick L makes all the way through the Super Bowl at that one low price. A really good price on his NFL season pass. Check him out there. And of course, he also has the end of the season ML, MLB season pass. Take it to the final game of the World Series. Add a second capper to that. And of course, with the two-for-one cap promotion, even greater value there. All right, Al, as always, uh, uh, great having you on the show. Uh, continue to uh, have, have yourself a great evening. Well, can I keep you for the recap? All right, I'll be here. All right, El Nino's here on the drive through All right, let's continue on with our coverage. Guys, reminder, be sure to continue. To give us those likes, those thumbs up. We greatly appreciate it. It really helps our, our, our rankings up and helps us build our audience. And if you miss any of our picks, we'll do a complete recap here at the end of the show. All right, let's continue on here on the drive through Now it's time to welcome Mitch to the show. You'll find Mitch over at uh, Pick Dogs. He does, uh, he does a morning show. If you tune in every day at uh, 10 a.m. Eastern time, he's with uh, Rod Zawacki and Brian Bittler. Mitch, what's happening? Uh, just a lot, you know, <laughs> trying to get ready for, uh, you know, NFL, doing, you know, trying to get the videos together. And, of course, just, you know, preparing for the uh, for the upcoming NFL season and college football season all at the same time. And, you know, it's like this was our not busy time that we just passed through. And, you know, it's you could see, you know, the traffic on our videos, on our shows, everything else has been down. It's nice. We got a chance to really touch base with the, our audience and, um, you know, our really, you know, hardcore fans that stick around year round. We get a chance to really touch base with them before, you know, the masses come back and it's, you know, thousands of people watching and, you know, millions of people watching our YouTube and, all, you know, it's just, it gets crazy. It certainly does. All right. So here we go to 9, 7 Eastern time with the Blue Jays home to the Indians. Uh, Blue Jays laying $2 total of nine and a half. Yeah, I, um, you know, I'm, I'm, I just can't understand laying odds and runs. I just can't make sense of it. I know people have tried to explain it to me and, you know, basically it's, it's, I don't bet that way. So like, I don't, I don't bet a hundred dollars across the board generally, you know, it's like if a team is a favorite, I bet the more money for the flat payout. So like if, it, if I was on the Jays here, I would take minus 200. I would be betting 200. I would win a hundred. So if I was doing the run line, I'd be playing whatever, minus 125 to win 100. So I'm still doing the same thing with the same return. It's just I need a bigger hurdle. So I don't, I can't get there, you know, with the laying the run line and odds. And I just, I know a lot of people are doing it. And yeah, you win some, you know, you know, you, you win some like that. But, you know, at the same time, I don't think the books are putting it out there for giving you a realistic chance to win. And in these situations, you got to go for the dogs. We saw it Monday. It was, you know, a couple of dogs bid on Monday. Basically covered, if you bet the dogs across the board on Monday, just a few big ones covered the entire card for it. I mean, and we're seeing it now. And we're seeing bad pitchers being favored by gigantic amounts. We saw Andrew Heaney as a minus 290 favorite the other night. I mean, Andrew Heaney. We saw John Lester last night. I mean, who's been bombed all season as a member of the Nationals. Um you know, we saw him just crush last night at even money, right? Or yeah. pick him. Just didn't even make any sense. And, you know, here's Steven Matz at minus 200 against the, uh, an Indians team that we know is murder in, in August and September traditionally. So I just think you got to pick your spots here. And I think you could take the Indians here at the plus, you know, 160, 170, 180. And I think you even could sprinkle a little on the reverse run line. You know, it just doesn't make sense to me, like I said. Um, you know, it's no, no, Steven Matz isn't a minus 200 pitcher. He's just not. So you got to take, either take your shots or don't bet. So. All right. Uh, Mitch looks at the Indians here. You can shop around this number plus 187 against the Blue Jays. You know, some of these moves, Mitch, have, have, have me scratching my head. You know, shirts are going to the Dodgers. You can understand, but the Yankees moves, uh, the, the Cardinals with half. I mean, they're just, just kind of head scratches that these organizations would go after these really subpar players. Yeah, I don't understand the Cardinals whole thing there. Let's just pile up left-handed pitchers, even if they stink. It's like, you know, here, here's your three days of lefties. You know, the Cardinals, three days of lefties, you know. John Lester, who's done. I mean, he's clearly done. J. Happ and into Wade LeBlanc. It's like a, it's a bad. It's the Three Stooges. This is bad. You know, 
It just doesn't even make sense. So you can't win with that. I don't care who you are. Oh, the Cardinals have magic with their pitchers. Certainly didn't look like their last name. Nope, and of course, but, Cole um, Hamels. You know, here's Steven. Yeah, Cole Hamels. Here's Steven Matz, you know, and uh, another lefty here for the Jays. And I mean, he's been terrible this season, you know. He's been rocked. Yeah, so been... I, I just don't see it, you know, not seeing it. No, not at all. And of course, Mitch here on the Indians, plus 187 against the Blue Jays. And, of course, the start time for this one uh, will be at uh, 7 Eastern time over at MLB x Rings Channel. All right, Mitch, what's happening over at Pick Dogs Premium as we're approaching here football season? I know uh, uh, the, the, you're working hard on that site. I know there's going to be some – I guess you were talking about the, some of these advanced stats to be po posted up there for, for, for the visitors. Yeah, just we're doing a major site – Overall, you're going to still have all the same stuff that we have, right? So you're going to still have all that stuff. But what we're adding is just stuff that you go to other sites to get, your stats, your other trends, your things of that nature. We just have all that stuff, just a much better version of it than what you've ever seen before. Also, a more robust version of it and a more flexible version that you can view things how you want to view them which gives you that kind of flexibility. You can you don't have to go say, well, you know, here's the last 10 games and you're kind of that's what you're looking at. You know, you could look at the last 10 home games, you could look at the last 10 road games, you could look at the last 10 games um, versus this opponent. You could work, look at the last 10 games versus teams in this division and you know, on the road against that division. All all the different ways that you would want to look at it to determine that and this the our website for free is going to show you and highlight what are the best betting opportunities based on these probabilities that you're looking at. So these are just, that's just one piece of the entire puzzle. What we're going to do a lot of stuff that other people are charging you good money for, um, and with less. So that's what we're going to give it to y'all for free. Yeah. That sounds that's really the, great. That's the goal. And, and I've, I've that... invested, I've invested over, I would say, I would say my my commitment to it is in the ten million dollar range out of my pocket directly, and I'd say I'm already several million dollars into it, and um, that's just what I'm going to do. So I don't care. I know I'm not going to make any friends out there, and Tony knows I don't have that many friends anyway to begin with. So I got nothing to lose. You, you know, it's but, one, uh, one of the I think you guys are going to love it. You know, you guys are going to love it. And people say, "Oh, Mitch charge you for premium picks or whatever, all that other stuff." Uh, you know, you guys are going to be freaking out on what you're going to get for free. Right. Most. And one, one, one of the better, and a great feature too, Mitch, is that morning show and the fact how visible you are on video where you can actually educate the site visitor on how to look at these oh, stats absolutely. and how to use them, which many of these sites oh, yeah. don't. You're kind of on your own. They just hear the chats. You're on your own. Figure this out on your own. Oh, no, we're going to go through everything and we're going to look at, you know, we're not going to, you know, we're not, you're gonna, like when it comes to trends, you know, the other sites, they, they have, you know, you know, the good ones, the ones that are considered the industry standard right now might have 15 or 20 trends for an entire for a game, you know, both teams total. We're going to have 10,000. So you're going to need to learn how to narrow it down in a way that's relevant for you. Absolutely. All right. We're really Mitch. excited. We're really, really excited <laughs> about this. And this is like um, the thing about um, our new partners is that. I know that it's a different game than you guys have seen before. I know that you guys have heard new things about website redesigns from other people. This is not a website redesign. This is not anything else. Most people know I do something, everybody else copies it. I guarantee you, there is, we don't have one person in our industry, not one site, not even the big ones that are owned by you know these international corporations that will be able to duplicate what we're going to do because there's only one company that's able to do this and we have an exclusive. So yeah, you that's... <laughs> well, yeah, yeah, and you, and you had to pay. You had to pay through the nose for it, but you did. Exactly. No, no, no. I, I paid up for it. You know, and that's, that's what you have to do. You know, you can't cheap out in, in spots like that. And it's like, I'm not saying that you won't be able to find, obviously, yeah, you're going to be able to find teams win-loss records. You're going to be able to find teams record versus the spread. You're going to be able to find all that stuff on other people's sites. You're just not going to be able to aggregate it and get all of these things in one place like you will be able to do on Pick Dogs and Sports Chat. So I'm, Sports Chat will be the main one. Pick Dogs will be focused on underdog first. Mm-hmm. 
All right. These yeah. are the best dogs. <laughs> this is all the dogs, the dogs of dogs, the dogs plus money. Da, da, da. Sports chat will be nuts and bolts. Absolutely. So great uh, right there, guys. So check it out here. Visit Pick Dogs. Of course, if, tune in that morning show to get all updates here on all the developments there. Pick Dogs and Sports Chat Place. Right really there, excited about it. Yep. Like I said, it'll be released by football season. At least it's three phases. It's going to take quite some time to get this all out there. We have 135 programmers that we've hired to do this. And, um, you know, it's, it's, it's still going to take time. It's still going to take a year to get everything out there, maybe even more. But over the next um, couple of months, over the next month, you will start to see phase one, which is going to be exciting to begin with. All right. All right phase one, is- we're hoping to include, we're hoping to include the thing that everybody wants, which is the number of bets and the number of um, dollars bet on each game, stuff that you're paying other people for right now, good money. We're going to have that for free. And we're, and we're also going to tell you what the sources are of that information that we're giving you. We're not just going to say this is what it is. We're going to tell you where this is coming from. Yeah, absolutely, guys. Great news there from Mitch. And as we're talking here, Oakland has just tied it up in the bottom of the ninth. 3-3 with the Padres still batting here. So uh, Oakland here with this rally in the ninth inning. Yeah, Oakland's, Oakland's uh, rallying here. They got first and second with two outs. It's been a two-out rally here. So yeah, it has. So I, they, they, I, they, I got a little, uh, I got a little wager here on the A's, so I'm uh, just, just I'm trying to filibuster to uh, keep the vibe going. But anyways, have a great day, everyone. <laughs> have a great day, everyone. We'll see you tomorrow morning, 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, live with uh, Bitler and Zawacki. That's right. Tune into the morning. We'll hear all about Bill who's got the hot date tonight. We're going to hear all oh, about Oh, we got to hear that. <laughs> we got to hear that. We got to hear that. No, there will be a line of question. There will be a line of question. All, all right. right. It looks like we're going to extras. Oh, oh, they ran into each other, but the uh, but uh, he, he made the catch. He made the catch. So, right, wow, going. was that close. We're going extra extra exciting right. game here. All right, Mitch, have a great night. We'll tune in tomorrow and uh, for the show right. and hit, hit information on Bittler. All right, have a good one. <laughs> all, right, all right, Mitch here on the drive. So let's continue on here with the coverage. Guys, again, if you missed any of the picks, we'll do a complete recap after my play. Now it's time for, for, for my selection for today. Uh, we're going to be looking at this uh, Mets and Marlins game, top of the hour on MLB x Trainings channel. We got the, the Mets road favorites, $1.55. Total sits here at 7.5. And, and with my pick today, I'm going to take the underdog Marlins here at plus the 141. And, you know, Zach Thompson is going to get the start here for Miami. The right-hander is allowed one run or fewer in five of his past seven starts. Carlos Carrasco counters for the Mets. Now, Carrasco returned from injury but worked just four innings, allowing one earned run against the Reds. Following the loss in the opening of this series, the Mets had dropped four of five in this period. Mets batting just 171 against right-handers. Their bullpen has struggled on the road. ERA approaching five, whip of 1.48. Marlins. They're, we said this yesterday. Their pen has been good. One of the cappers had the Marlins as a dog. I think we had the Marlins in both shows here uh, the last few days. And their bullpen's been really good at home. ERA of 2.77, whip of 1.12. The free pick today, Marlins at plus 141. And guys, uh, be sure to visit Pick Dog Stream. I have a three-pack going on right now. Get on board with that. I'm also part of the two-for-one capper promotion. You can match me up with any of the other cappers on the show. You got uh, Mitch, Rod Zawacki, Brian Bittler. Uh, Chris with the host, uh, the host uh, package as well. Two for one capper promotion. Great value there uh, over at Pick Dogs Premium. All right, let's continue on here with the show. Now it's time to do the recap. Uh, let's recap the plays from today's show. Al Nino's will join us. We got to start with Joe Duffy. Angels run line minus one half runs, minus 110 against the Rangers. Joe D'Amico, Yankees run line minus one half runs, minus 135 against the Orioles. Al McMorney, White Sox run line minus one half runs, minus 130 against the uh, Royals. Ann was on the Rockies, minus 170 against the Cubs. Shane was Braves, Cardinals over 9. Alanino's Giants run line, minus 1.5 runs, minus 115 against the D-backs. Mitch was on the Indians, plus 187 against the Blue Jays. Yours truly, Marlins, plus 141 against the Mets. We'll start with Al. We'll go with Al. Al, other than your pick, which one do you like the best? I'm going to have to agree with you. I think that's probably the best value on the board tonight. Uh, Marlins definitely a live dog against the Mets. They looked horrible. And, uh, yeah, home field too, so go Marlins. All right, um, I, I'll, I'll uh, go here with Mitch at Indians plus 27. I'm not a fan of Steven Matz. And, of course, the Indians, a team that plays well in the second half of the season. All right, that'll do it for this edition of the drive Through, guys. Tune in again tomorrow live at 
6 p.m. Eastern time. We'll do it all over again. Have eight cappers booked on the show, giving out live feed sports picks for the games in the primetime hour. We'll also have a uh, we'll have the Hall of Fame game as well, uh, uh, starting the NFL preseason on Thursday. So we'll have a well, I'm sure we'll have a pick on that one for you. So be sure to tune in the drive. Remember, it all begins at uh, 10 a.m. Eastern time with the morning show. We got Mitch Rodzawacki, Brian Bittler. And now, forget those YouTube membership VIP shows. Follow the link below. Get signed up. All right, let's bring in the crew from tonight. Wave good night. Have yourself a great night. We'll talk to you guys live.